Okay, so if you teach primary grades, I wanna share some different ideas on how you can keep your early finishers engaged in meaningful learning activities when they're done with their work so they're not distracting or disturbing their classmates or you while you're doing small group instruction. So there's a few key points with early finishers. The first thing is you don't want it to feel like punishment for the students who finish early just because they were efficient. Like they're being punished for being efficient, meaning don't give them just more or extra work to complete that they've already done. Like don't add, okay, now do, you know, 10 more problems because you're finished early. You don't want it to feel like punishment. Next thing is that the work for early finishers should be able to be completed independently pretty easily. Like you want it to be something they can do without having or needing a lot of support from you or from anyone else. And of course, you want it to be low prep or no prep. And of course, bonus points if the work that you prepare for your early finishers is related to whatever content area they're working on, meaning if they finish their math work early, you don't want them doing like reading or spelling work, or if they finish their reading, then maybe that's not the best time for them to be working on math problems. Um, of course, like there's nothing wrong with that, but it's best if the work they do can just be still related to whatever the content area is. I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm gonna be doing this year. Two activities are um, resources that I downloaded from the Creative Fabrica Teacher Club resource subscription. So one of those things is this word work choice board. It looks like that. With this choice board, I am able to go in and type in my own spelling word. So it's editable. I can type in the focus of what the phonics skill is for that week. And then they have nine different activities that they can choose from to do to practice their uh, either spelling or phonics work spelling or phonics words. This is a good activity to do like for um, if they finish their reading or language arts work early, it gives them lots of choice, which is a good thing always um, when students have the ability to just kind of choose what it is that they want to do. And then for my math early finishers, I downloaded this also from the Teacher Fabrica, no, from the Creative Fabrica Teacher Club card, this Math Dice activity. So basically, it's lots of opportunities for them to just roll two dice to create the add-ins, add it up to find the sum. We start off second grade working on fact fluency, so sums to 20 or adding and subtracting within 20 um, is our first you know, learning target. So this gives them lots of practice to do that. And what I'm going to do is laminate these sheets and um, each student will have their own dry erase marker in their pencil box so if they finish their math early they can just you know quickly grab one of these and get to work and then also I'll have the dice where they can easily uh, reach it so these are just little ramekins that I got from the Dollar Tree you can put two dice in it right here they would only have to shake this once or I have some that have only one dice in it and then they can um, just roll it twice. So this is really easy, really simple. And the great thing about Creative Fabrica, which by the way, if you don't know what Creative Fabrica is, it's an online marketplace where you can download digital files. Um, it's really popular among crafters. So people who do sublimation, who have a Cricut, um, you can download all sorts of fonts. You can download um, digital files, you can download SVG files. If you're into crafting, then you probably know what that is. And then their newest thing is the teacher club card. So with the teacher club card, you can get a year long subscription for only $2.99 and you get access to over 10,000 um, digital downloads, which is an amazing value. And with this subscription, you can download five um, digital files per week, up to 260 per year. And at $2.99 for the subscription, like you just literally cannot even beat that. So this um, word work choice board, um, set that I got by itself, if I didn't have a subscription, would be $5.99. And then the math dice activity um, on its own is $2.25. So there it is, like you can clearly see the value. And the great thing is that Creative Fabrica gives 100% of the sub they give 100% of the subscription fees back to teachers. So if you have been thinking about like creating your own resources, 
um, and you want to kind of ease into it, there is a huge opportunity there. There are thousands of resources that you can download. Um, some of them you can tell like very clearly um, are teacher created. They look very similar to things that you would find on another um, online marketplace for teacher resources. And then some of them you can tell, okay, maybe we're not created by educators. But if you want, if you're an educator and you want to get into it, I think this is a great opportunity because again, they really support teachers and the teacher creators get 100% of the subscription fees. So it is definitely a win-win. And again, at $2.99 for an entire year subscription, like it is literally a no-brainer. I've already gotten the value twice over just from getting these two different downloads. And this was a download that I can tell was created by a teacher. So with the math dice, um, they have it where you can roll twice to get two add-ins. And they also have it where you can roll three times to get um, to add up three add-ins. So this is great for early finishers. And if you do choose to um, get the subscription, I have my affiliate link down below in the description. So if you subscribe through my link, then that would be great and much appreciated. Definitely let me know so that I can thank you personally. And then it makes Creative Fabrica go, oh, okay, we should definitely work with this girl again. So um, just a couple more things that you can do with early finishers. Last year, I had a pocket chart. I have it right here. Um, where I just created different cards on Canva with ideas for things that early finishers can do. And see this, now I'm thinking like, this is something that I could probably just put, uh, upload to the teacher club card as a creator and it would be helpful to another teacher. So I have ideas like, um, on here it says practice spelling words is one of the cards. And now I have a resource where they can like have lots of different ways to practice that. Um, math flashcards is another activity for early finishers. I have on here, read the room, which is basically students grab a pointer, walk around the room quietly and just read every sign, anything that's on the board, any poster, any anchor chart, just read literally everything that is in the room, which is a really good um, idea because then when they need to know how to spell certain words, after reading the room so many times, they know exactly where to look and find those words. Another idea that I have on here is write Mrs. Brown so they can grab some scrap paper or notebook paper, write me a letter. And then finally, the age old can't go wrong with read a book. So those are just a few ideas. Of course, there are more ideas. Those are not the only things. Several years ago, I made this document with um, ideas for like what things students can do when they're finished with morning work, four bullet points there, things they can do if they finish their independent reading work. Um, I have things they can do if they finish their writing early and also things they can do if they finish their math early. So if that's something that you're interested in, let me know and then I can get something together to um, share more of those ideas with you. But that is all. Again, definitely check out the Creative Fabrica teacher club card. One more thing. I also downloaded some like graphic decor type things for my classroom just as, you know, some positive uplifting decor. So I'll also show you um, what I got and it's hanging up on the other side of my room. It's a great value. Again, let me know if you get the subscription. If you haven't already, uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you all in the next one.